This is the first video in our mini-series Basic Structure and we will talk about the layout of electronics in your robot. There's a Mindstorms programmable brick, m large motors, medium motors, sensors, and wires to connect it. Now we will talk about the drivetrain of the robot which needs a Mindstorms programmable brick and two motors to drive. Let's jump into our first uh, drivetrain format. This is a very low profile build with the EV3 in the middle surrounded by two EV3 motors. And if you notice, this is a little bit wide, but it makes up for it by having it very low to the ground. So as you can see, if we attach these wheels to it on either side, It's very wide, but it's still low to the ground. So if you want an even lower profile build, you can actually take your NXT uh, large motors, and this only works on the NXT large motors because they're a little bit um, shorter um, than the EV3 ones. Uh, you can take those and flip them upside down, like so. And then you can actually attach these large wheels to them and as you can see it the bottom part barely touches the ground so it's really uh, low to the ground you can in fact use the EV3 medium motor as your drive motors um, it has half the power of an EV3 large motor. However, it has um, a lot more torque than the uh, large motor, meaning that it's slower, but it can um, it's a lot stronger than the EV3 large motor. So over here, we use a simple gearing technique to transfer the motion, which we will cover in a later video. And that way we can connect it to a wheel over here. And this gives it a smaller um, width to the robot. This is the most common drivetrain format where we have our EV3 programmable brick on top and underneath we have our two EV3 large motors. So here we have our robot from the 2014-15 world class um, competition. And it's using this drivetrain format where we have our EV3 brick on top and then we have our two large motors as our driving motors here. Here's another design for the drivetrain of the robot which is smaller in length and width but is taller in height. You just need to put the wheels into the motor on both sides. So the EV3 brick has four motor ports. Since two of them are already used for driving, that means you can use the other two to do missions for FLL. You can use these large motors, but we wouldn't recommend it because they take up lots of space. So instead use these medium motors, because they're small and compact. Just like motors, there are also four sensor ports in the EV3 brick. We only recommend using the color sensor and the touch sensor because the ultrasonic sensor, there's only one frequency so it can interfere with other ultrasonic sensors and also it's not very accurate. So for the touch sensor, we recommend using it to bump against walls and mission models to know when to activate something. And for color sensors, they're good for following the lines on the mat and we re recommend putting them face down about half a centimeter away from the ground and also building these shields around it so outside light doesn't affect it. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.